What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with another video this week. If you've been following my channel about a year ago, I guess technically with Apple delaying it a little bit, it hasn't been a complete year, but a year ago I made a video with me upgrading from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 12 and it was a significant jump from the 10 to the 12. Well today, I got the brand new iPhone 13 and we're upgrading again. Quick disclaimer guys, this is not a tech review. I am not a techie. I'm a professional licensed real estate agent in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where I've really utilized the iPhone and honestly the iPhone altogether in my entire life, but really in my business over the last four and a half years since I got licensed. Also throughout this video, there are gonna be different times where it's filmed by the actual iPhone 13 Pro Max. For instance, right now, this is from the new iPhone, as well as the normal footage that we film for really all of our other real estate content videos on this channel using the Sony A7S III. Now, before I go into all the details of why I'm upgrading a phone after just 10 months of having the 12, let's go ahead and get this opened. While we're waiting for the new iPhone to pair with my previous iPhone, I do wanna show you guys the iPhone that I did upgrade and showed you guys a lot in the last video from last year. This is what happens when you utilize a phone as much as I do. A majority of the business that I run is from my phone and this thing is absolutely shredded. You can see on the backside, the uh, backside is torn to pieces. I did some footage last year in the video. If you fast forward to this year, I've been utilizing the new iPhone 12 for not quite a year now, but uh, been wearing a case mostly for it. So overall, it's in pretty good condition. The issue is when you utilize your phone for business, I run a real estate company here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm using my phone anywhere from 70, 80 to maybe 90 hours a week. And the reason why is because all of my business is generated from my phone. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can run a real estate business. If you go to an older brick and mortar or an actual office that they've been there for 30 or 40 years, they're gonna run their business a lot differently than I run mine. Majority of my business is yes, self-generated from my phone, but it's self-generated through social media, whether that be YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Those are my big three. I don't utilize you know, Snapchat, I don't utilize Twitter. The biggest thing for me is finding what I excel in and putting all of my time and effort into that. Now I do utilize TikTok a little bit, TikTok is more of my personal life rather than my business, but at the end of the day, those four social media platforms are what generates a lot of my business. So when you're talking about a business owner having business expenses and needing to write off certain things, I can't tell you any more of a better business expense than an iPhone, something that you're gonna have in your hand basically all day, every day as a realtor. All right guys, we are back from using the camera just a little bit. We went outside with my dogs, got some footage of uh, Rika and Rocky, and I just wanna give you a good idea of the quality you're looking at when you're using the new iPhone 13. So one of the good things with social media, which is where I derive most of my business, is the fact that I'm always using my phone. Always using my phone is also utilizing the photos and the video. What's nice here now too, is I can essentially send all of the video footage as long as it's landscaped and not vertical. I can send it over, airdrop it, send it over to my videographer. He can forward it over to the editor and actually throw it into the video footage for my YouTube channel. To be honest with you guys, there's not a ton of difference from the camera we're actually using to film all of my YouTube videos than the actual camera that is utilized on the new iPhone 13. Now, when I'm talking about the iPhone 13, I'm really referring to the phone that I got, which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I just upgraded from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and before that, I think it was the iPhone 10 XS Max at that time. I've always had the bigger screen, which has had additional cameras with it, which for someone like me, the extra camera, the additional size of the screen, the additional battery life, having the larger iPhone for me personally is something I've always needed. Once again, guys, the upgrade that I made last year and the video that I put out last year was basically two years difference from one phone to the next. Now, this is just really honestly about 10 months difference. It is nice to be able to be part of the Apple upgrade program where I'm basically allowed 
to upgrade every single year when it comes to using my cell phone. Now the use of a cell phone as a realtor, honestly, at the end of the day, utilizing this new phone, this is basically like a handheld laptop for me. A lot of realtors out there utilize a laptop and when I'm traveling, I definitely do. It's more or less what I can't do on my phone. I'll go back to the hotel and finish up and do, but honestly, 98% of what I do outside of actually showing homes, 100% I would say when I'm actually traveling, I can do on this phone. Really at the end of the day, it's just nice to have have one system across all platforms that I have an iPhone, a laptop, and an iMac that I can basically transfer things to and from with ease without any problem. And also, I work with a ton of clients and majority of the people that I actually work with alongside for my company all have Apple products too. It just makes everything so much more easier. Thanks again for watching guys. This is just a quick video on the new iPhone that I'm excited to put to use in my business. There's a huge real estate convention that I'm gonna be utilizing this phone probably for a lot of log content next week. Stay tuned for that. And once again, this is actually being used with the iPhone 13, the current video being made right now. Let me know if you can see a huge difference from the actual expensive camera that we use and the new handheld iPhone 13 Pro Max that I just got. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help and stay tuned for the next video.